when it's cold and rough outside. Try something warm and creamy inside. Cream of Frank L. White, born 1867, died February 15th, 1938. He was a professional chef, best known for the fictional breakfast chef Rostis, still featured on the boxes of Cream of Wheat. A native of Barbados, he immigrated to the United States in 1875, where he became a citizen in 1890. He was working as a master chef at a Chicago restaurant at the time he was photographed for the cereal box in 1900. White, like many chefs, moved around, but after World War I, he settled in central Michigan, working as a chef at the Holly House in nearby Mason, Michigan, south of Lansing. It is said that he was famous in the area for his Maryland chicken. By the 1930s, he had retired from cooking when... He died in 1938. The local newspaper identified him as the cream of wheat guy. What is up, YouTube? What's up, guys? It's your boy, Michigander Man. Today, I am in Woodlawn Cemetery in Leslie, Michigan. There's some very unique headstones in here. But there's also a very well-known, famous, famous person that is in the cemetery also that you guys probably didn't think was an actual real life person. But he he is. And we're gonna take, I'm gonna take you guys and uh, take a look at his uh, gravestone here in a minute. I absolutely love cereal. Every morning, we would get a box of cereal, sit down and watch Saturday morning cartoons. Every once in a while, I would like to, some hot cereal like Quaker Oats or cream of wheat now if you guys don't know that cereal box has a very famous person on it we know him as the cream of wheat chef a lot of you guys didn't know that um his actual real name and you guys will recognize this picture as soon as I show it to you as soon as you guys see this you're gonna actually recognize who this person is and right here we are standing at the grave of Frank L. White otherwise known as the cream of wheat man Look at this one. This is Pick Picket. Look 
a like beautiful, huge monument. This guy had to be very important. There's also another notable person in this cemetery. And we're gonna go take a look at his gravestone. Which is right over this way. It's a very beautiful cemetery. If you guys are ever in Leslie, Michigan, you gotta stop here. We're working our way to uh, over here, straight ahead. Right here, we have Leslie, Michigan's very first ever settler, Elijah Woodworth. Right here, the plaque says Leslie's first settler. 1792 to 1886. The following is a copy of the gravestone of Elijah Woodworth. They had to make this plaque because you see, you still a beautiful headstone, but you can't make out any of the words or anything that are on there. Elijah authored his headstone. He, oh, he, he, inscripted his own headstone the way it looks like he authored his headstone himself wow in memory of elijah woodworth born 1792 who now resides in the spirit life a real personal being in progression eternally served in the war of 1812 a sectarian minister, an atheist lecturer up to 1852, first resident of Leslie, Ingham County, a surveyor and Thompson, Thompsonian doctor, the first in, inner eight lecturer in the field of modern spiritualism and controlled to write ancient langu languages in the form of hieroglyphical characters. That's a long word. A modern seer and sage in natural and spiritual civilization whose sunlight shall never close. Vilely pers persecuted by bigots, although living in temperance and good morality who filled a moral body with vigorous health and memory nearly one century traveling in seven states in the union again this is the gravestone of the very first settler in leslie michigan elijah woodworth if you guys want to come find his headstone I'll pan around so you guys could get a good idea of where it's at. And coincidentally, his headstone right here is not too far from Frank L. White's headstone, which is directly down there and the easiest way for you guys to find his their headstones is to look for this landmark this tomb 
right there. It's in between both of the grave sites in Woodlawn Cemetery in Leslie, Michigan. Okay, and guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure, you get, make sure you guys share me out. Hit that like, hit that dislike. Hit that notification bell. Subscribe. I also want to thank all, all my members. I love each and every one of you guys. You guys rock. You guys make it so I can do things like check this places like this out. So guys, get out there and explore because you never know what history that you're going to find even in your neighborhood. I never knew when I came to the cemetery that I was going to find, you know, find the very first settler of uh, Leslie, Michigan's gravesite. So you never know what you're going to find. History is around every corner. I love you guys. All right, guys, all right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.